So you've been looking forward to getting home and watching your favourite show on Stan or Netflix for the whole last week, or perhaps you can't wait to watch some, some good quality cat videos on YouTube, and you're frustrated by this process called buffering. The, the video stream pauses and stops at the most inopportune times, and it really destroys your viewing experience. When does this happen? It happens when we have streaming videos or streaming media. Now what streaming means is that your computer never receives and downloads the whole file. So you don't actually save a copy of the video onto your computer. It's just a stream of data from the World Wide Web to your computer or your device. Uh, so your device is only ever saving a small amount of it at any one time for playback. The process of buffering is that process of downloading and saving that small part. So we see that the computer is pausing, and you know how you have that funny little pause um, animation on the screen when, it, when we, we think that it's buffering, and what's happening is it's actually saving that next part before it plays it. So what causes these issues that frustrate our viewing pleasure? So of course we've got our, our World Wide Web and we're taking the content, the video that we're watching from the World Wide Web to your computer. So there's a connection between the World Wide Web and your computer. Whether it's Wi-Fi, or whether it's 3G if you're out and about, or whether it's actually a cable, there's a connection between the web and your computer or your device. So it's often along this uh, path that the problem is occurring. But the other problem, of course, could be what's happening in your device. So I want to introduce you to this idea called um, bandwidth. Now, I know that you're probably not connected, to, your device isn't connected to the World Wide Web via a cable. But let's imagine it is for a minute. And let's actually imagine that it's not even a cable, but it's actually a pipe. Now, through that pipe is all of the data going from the web to your computer. So all of the I or the ones and the O's and the ones and the O's, all of that data is going to your computer through this pipe. Now, the pipe is only so big. It's only got a, such um, a certain bandwidth. Now what happens if your little brother is in the next room and he is downloading delightful cat videos on his computer? So that's going to actually make a contribution as well to the amount of ones and o's or the amount of data that's going through your limited size pipe. What happens if your dad is in his study doing something with boring old Excel spreadsheets? At the same time, again, that's more of a contribution of data that is chogging up this bandwidth. So you at the end of the stream are going to have struggling with buffering because not as much data is able to go through or the data is not going to be able to go through as quickly and so therefore it's going to buffer and pause. So this is one of the problems. So it's about the quality of your internet connection. Let's say you're, um, you actually want to go and watch your video out in the backyard um, in your favourite hammock outside. Now, of course, to do that, you're a long way away from your Wi-Fi router. So the signal strength of your Wi-Fi might actually be pretty poor out here. So that's another reason why you might um, suffer buffering. What kinds of things could happen at your actual computer? If you have 10 or 20 different browser windows open, um, then it's going to be putting some strain on your computer as well, isn't it, in terms of the, the capacity for your computer to be able to manage all of that data and have all of those things open at the same time. So that's another thing. Of course, you need to consider what's actually happening here. If it's a subscription service, is there, well, Regardless, if it, if, it, if it is a subscription service, you know, have you actually paid your subscription? If it's a problem of um, 
uh, you know, if it's something like YouTube, is it that uh, there's a, there's actually a problem with that um, that service provider at that time? Is it an actual problem with your internet service provider? Is it that uh, you know there's so many different options of of issues that it could be?